welcome to our St. Matthew the Apostle location. My name is Kim Reed. Today's celebration marks the final Sunday of Ordinary Time, the Feast of Christ the King. Today also marks the final weekend of the month of November, a month dedicated to Black Catholic history as well as prayer for all souls. As a special remembrance of the faithful departed of our parishes, we take a moment to honor those who have passed in the last year. From Our Lady of the Holy Cross location, Salvatore Capone, Jr., Joseph Michael Clark V, Charlotte Ann Flowers, Matthew James Honig, Truman G. Wallace. From our St. Augustine location, Pascal Anaque, Vera May Baird, Annie Laura Laura Bates, Deacon Bob Birkenmeyer, Madeline Clipper, Shirley Ann Felder, Nancy Hearn, to Daryl Howard, Adrian Reed, Henry A. Vaughn Sr., Cora Mae Williams. From our St. Elizabeth Mother of the John the Baptist location, Maddie Alfin, Nora Brown, Mary Bonds, Michael Carter, Rashad Terrell Preston Creer, Norma Finney, Terry Holmes, Robert Hines, Ametria Keys, Floyd Robinson, Janet Thomas, and Marlene Yvonne Watkins. From our St. Matthew the Apostle location, Flora Mae Gordon Haley, Jerry Glenn Hall, Choi Sin Hansley, Roger Hardyway Sr., Ernestine Mildred Jackson, Louis Joseph Monahan, Gretchen Lalora Frisby, Carolyn Jean Short, Ramon Tavro Trice, Gail Catherine Williams. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. The candles before the altar will remain lighted throughout our weekend liturgies to commemorate our deceased loved ones. At the close of the weekend masses, you are welcome to take your loved one's candle home. If you have not done so, please silence your cell phones. I invite you to welcome our honored guest, celebrant Bishop Mark Rivetuso. Con celebrating the Mass is Father Scott Scheiderer and Father Chris Adenuba. Assisting in the sanctuary is Deacon Ed Grotepeter. Please stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. My name is Bishop Mark Robertuso. I'm the Auxiliary Bishop for the Archdiocese of St. Louis. It's a great joy to be with Father Scott and Father Chris and Deacon Ed and all of you, as well as all those that are with us live stream. Uh, what a beautiful way to come together in prayer and in love as we celebrate this great solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, as our King, our King enthroned in our hearts, our King to be honored in our life, our King to be loved in each other. As we come together to honor our Lord, the King, may we honor him by truly opening ourselves to God's graces to become more like him. Let us pray for those times when we fail to live Jesus because of our sinfulness and ask for the Lord's pardon and mercy and the grace to enter more fully into these sacred mysteries. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep, as a shepherd tends his flock. When he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out, the strayed I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal but the sleek and the strong I will destroy, Shepherd them right, shepherding like them like rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I 
shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years, for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, my shepherd. No, nothing I want. The Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as Adam, in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life. But each one in proper order, Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ, then comes the end. When he hands over the kingdom to his to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power, for he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who has subjected everything to him so that God may be all in all, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the, may the Lord be in your heart and on your lips you may proclaim this holy gospel worthily and well in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him and he will separate them one from another. As a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Are thirsty and give you drink? 
When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come. You are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Come, you who are blessed. How often in uh, my cordial exchanges with others, I ask, how are you doing? And many times I get the response, I am blessed. I am blessed. And I believe on this Thanksgiving weekend, it's good to remember that we are blessed and remember that every day of our life. We are blessed. Come, you who are blessed by my Father. We are blessed. God blesses us in so many ways. Blesses us with our faith. Blesses us with God's daily love and care. Blesses us with so many good people for support in our life. Blesses us with a faith community that helps us to give praise to God. Blesses us with being able to do the mission of Jesus in our life. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. And we're reminded that as we proclaim, we are blessed, I am blessed, you are blessed, that it should be witnessed to by our very life. We should make the connection between what we proclaim, that we are blessed, to the lived reality of our life. It shows that we are blessed by God. And we know every day, being blessed by God, it should be evident as we live the blessing of our lives to live the blessing of our life and to be a blessing for all. We are blessed. We are called to live the blessing. We are called to be the blessing for others. And as we honor today our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, we are called to make the connect that we who are blessed honor Christ, our King, by honoring him, by living the blessing of our life, and honor him by being that blessing for all, especially those in need. We are to make that connect. And it is good for us to remember that as we come before the Lord today, recognizing we're aware and grateful that we are blessed, we ask God to bless us that we always live according to those blessings that God has given to us. Honor Christ by being the blessing we are called to be in our daily life. That's a challenge for us. And we need to remember that we need God's grace to live that blessing that God calls us to be. And we are called to live the blessing by honoring Jesus, our King. Remember, living and honoring Jesus, our King, we honor him by imitating him. Remember that Jesus came 
to give us the model of his life to be embraced in our own life. We are called to remember, live the blessing of who we are by living the blessing of Jesus. When people see us, they will not only recognize that we are blessed, but that we are living the blessing. We are being the blessing of Jesus for all to remember that our lives should reflect Jesus Christ. Each of us as Christians are called to be another Christ, another Jesus, for people to encounter Jesus in us, living the blessing of Jesus Christ in each one of our lives. Be that blessing. Honor Christ our King by honoring what he wants of us. Remember the objective of every disciple is to become like the master. We strive by God's grace to become more and more every day the blessing of Jesus. There's the blessing to be lived. The blessing of our life is to be living the blessing of his life. Live the blessing of Jesus Christ. We honor him in our heart. We honor him by our lives. And we honor him by living his life in our life. Be the blessing of Jesus Christ. That's the blessing that each one of us are called to be in our own life. Am I living that blessing? I am blessed. You are blessed. Are we making the connect of living the blessing that we have received, all the blessings received, by living the blessing of Jesus Christ in all of our lives? It's good for us to be mindful of that in every moment to be intentional, purposeful, mindful, that we live the blessing of Jesus. I am called to be Jesus Christ. I am called to live the life of Jesus Christ. All that see me should see Jesus Christ. All about Jesus. There's the blessing of our life and the blessing to be lived in all of our lives. And we also honor him with the connect with being the blessing of Jesus for others. Not just keep Jesus to ourselves. How can we contain the joy and love we have for Jesus except to share that joy and love with others? We honor Christ our King by remembering that we are blessed, blessed by Him, blessed by God, blessed to live the blessing of Jesus in our life and to live the blessing of Jesus for others, for every person, to honor Jesus by honoring the dignity of every person who is Jesus Christ before us. And in honoring that dignity, we show our reverence for every person. We show our love for every person. And we remember that we are there to serve and love Jesus in all. We remember today in the gospel, Jesus tells us the criteria of the last judgment he reminds us that it is not enough to be one to proclaim our faith, but faith should be a lived experience and a faith that calls us to action, a faith that calls us not only to profess Jesus, but to serve and love and honor Jesus in all peoples. And we're reminded, just a, a simple list that he gives us, and a challenging list that we're reminded that we serve Jesus when we see those who are hungry and we give them food. There is Jesus Christ. We see those who are thirsty and we give them drink. We help them in their need. There is Jesus Christ. We see all those who are naked, all those in basic necessities that are lacking, and we serve them providing clothing and helping them to know that we care because we care for Jesus in them. We see the stranger among us, and we see Jesus in that stranger, and we show the hospitality of Jesus. We show the welcome of Jesus. We help all to find a sense of belonging, as we do in this faith community, a sense of belonging, welcoming one another, so we're no longer strangers, but remembering we are celebrating and welcoming Jesus in every one of us. And we're reminded to care for the sick, that are our midst, to truly be present to them, because there is Jesus to be served, to remember the imprisoned, 
and to go to show that we love Christ and those who are captives. We are called in this list to remind ourselves that Jesus gives these wonderful ways, these works of mercy, to be works of love and ways in which we can be mindful to make the connect, not only of living the blessing of Jesus Christ, but being the blessing of Jesus for those that we serve. To see in those who are in need the opportunities to care for Jesus, to love Jesus, to serve Jesus, to honor Jesus in everyone, and especially in those who are in need. Remember, this is not an exhaustive list. Every day of our life, Jesus calls us to make the connect of being the blessing of Jesus, living Christ, and seeing the connect of where we are called to serve Jesus and others. I always say every day of my life, I pray, Lord, help me to see the good and help me to act upon that good. Where I can make a difference, let me make that difference. Help me not to be indifferent, but to make the difference and to make that difference, to make a world of difference, to make a difference in our world. Every day we need to pray, be aware in every moment of life, where can I honor Jesus? Where can I serve Jesus? Where can I love Jesus? Where can I care for Jesus? And the Holy Spirit enlightens us in every one of those opportunities, not to be a missed opportunity, but to be acted upon in our life, to see Jesus, when we see the opportunity what good can I do for this person before me? And act upon that good that God calls us to do. See, in those moments of being with others, where can I make a difference and make that difference? Make the time, make the effort, be intentional to truly do what is good, to do what makes a difference, to do what honors Jesus, to live the blessing of Jesus, to be the blessing of Christ for others. And remember that from this wonderful gospel story that we not only are living the blessing of Jesus for those who are in need, for our family, for our friends, for our co-workers, for our, our family of faith, for our greater community, for our world. But as we reach out to love and honor Jesus in all, that we are also enriched because there were the opportunities that were not missed, that we were able to be blessed to serve Jesus, our King, to be humble enough to care for Jesus, our King, to be gracious enough to embrace all and welcome, to truly take the time to make the difference, to take the time to do what is good for all. We come before the Lord, remember, for the Eucharist, and remember the Eucharist is thanksgiving. We receive the graces from Jesus Christ to remember that from these graces, we receive our King humbly in the Eucharist. Amen. Amen. We receive him. But also we are called to remember to say in our heart, amen, to make the connect. We not only receive him here in the Eucharist, or receive him in others, to receive him in those who are in need. And we say our silent amen from our hearts, I will honor you, Jesus, as I honor this person and their dignity, as I serve this person in their need, as I show your goodness to all, as I make the difference by my life of faith, living the blessing of Jesus. We are called to make that connect never to be disconnected. And remember that the relevance of the Eucharist is to be live in our life, to receive the gift of Jesus, to be the gift of Jesus, to see the gift of Jesus in others that we are called to receive, to love, to care, to be charitable. We are called to make the connect. How are you doing? We are blessed. We are blessed. Because every day of our life, we are blessed by God blessed by God's love. And we are blessed because we are able, by God's grace, to live the greatest blessing of our life, the blessing of Jesus in our life. And we are truly blessed because 
we are blessed to be able to see and honor Jesus in every person and see the opportunity to encounter his love in our love for him, in our care for him, in our devotion to him, as we truly are present to him every day of our life. May we today, as we receive the blessing of the Eucharist, always live the connect of our blessedness. May we remember what God tells all of us that we hope to hear at the end, at the general judgment, come, you are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. May we live for that hope of that day to come when we are truly blessed for all eternity by living the blessing in the here and now. We are blessed. We are living the blessing of Jesus Christ in our life. We are living the blessing of Jesus for all and especially those who are in need. And we live the blessedness of Jesus received to live the blessing of Christ in our world. May the Lord continue to help us to always be appreciative that we are truly blessed. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father and the Holy Spirit, maker of heaven and earth, Father, and the Holy I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten of God, the Father of all angels, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, be God not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made for us men and for our salvation we came out of heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified in our peace of power. He suffered and was buried. Third day, in the scriptures, centered in heaven and seated the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds in the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, the door and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins. I love the Lord. And life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now present our needs of faith to our loving God. That the church will always be a place where the truth, mercy, love, and wisdom of Christ the King shine forth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the efforts supporting National Black Catholic History Month work to open the eyes of the faithful to the long history and proud heritage of black Catholics in the United States. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops over our church, especially the Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop Mitchell Rosansky, and Bishop Mark Rivetuso, may they be strengthened in their mission of shepherding those entrusted to their core. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they will see their power as a sharing in the authority of God and reflect it in the way they govern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the culture of life proclaimed by Christ the King will reign in every human heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of tyranny, persecution, oppression, and racism, that the justice of Christ the King will rid the world of every trace of hatred. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all, intent, for all the intentions that lie in the silence of our hearts.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the faithful departed, especially our loved ones and those that were mentioned at the beginning of this Mass, that they may come to enjoy the vision of God face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all goodness and love, we come before you with our needs of faith, those that we have voiced and those in our hearts. Answer our prayers with your great compassion as we honor your beloved Son as our King. May we honor him by extending your kingdom on earth, by living the blessing of Jesus and being that blessing of Christ for all. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for your help today. God bless you. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
as we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you. We humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all the nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as the eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and by making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, most heaven, earth, a full You are indeed holy, O Lord, in all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace with you. Thank you. Peace with you. God bless you. Peace with you. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Be with you. Oh, oh, thank you for catching me. I got you. <laughs> Stay Stay with you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. My first mass here. Oh, I can see it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Enter my room. For only so the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the praises, let it rise. Oh. oh, let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord, oh, let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the joy of our King, let it rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh. among us let the praises let it let it rise let it rise among us let the songs let it let the joy let it rise among us let it rise among us let it rise among us let it rise oh let it rise oh lord oh lord oh lord let it rise
Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Are there any visitors outside our four parishes joining us today? Please stand so we may recognize and welcome you. That means you, Bishop. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Know that you are always welcome here at our parishes. And a special thank you to Bishop Mark Rivetuso for honoring us with a visit. Know that you always have a home here and that you remain continually in our prayers. A special word of thanks to all those who helped in any way, donating, preparing, serving and socializing with 65 families on Thanksgiving Day at our community dinner at our Our Lady of the Holy Cross location. If you or someone you know need a little help at Christmas, please send a letter to Father Bob's Outreach. Send your letter no later than December 1st. See the bulletin for more details. If you haven't done so already, please fill out a personal contact information sheet. We would like to have the most up-to-date contact information from our parishioners. The sheets are located in the back of the church. Please ask our ushers if you have trouble locating a sheet. Thank you for giving us this information. Attention, ladies of the parish. If you are interested in becoming a part of the ladies' council for our parish, please contact Ms. Gladys Mansfield or Ms. Jane Brown. Their contact information is in the bulletin. Breakfast with Santa is Sunday, December 17th, from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. in the Stanley and Clayton Rice Family Center located west of St. Matthew on Kennerly. Tickets are limited, so please call one of our parish secretaries if you are interested in participating. RCIA today will be held over at the rectory again. Enter through the front of the building to all of our RCA members, catechists, and anyone who just really wants to come and learn more about the faith. So that invitation is always open. If you want to join our RCA classes to learn more, you are always welcome. For those who ordered a St. Augustine photo directory, they are available for pickup. See Mr. Well, he's not here. See uh, Simeon Lane or one of the St. Augustine representatives after Mass if you have not picked up your copy. A reminder, next weekend marks the beginning of the Advent season and the first Sunday of the month of December. Join your fellow parishioners after the 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Masses for fellowship and, of course, donuts at the Rice Family Center. Also, weekday Masses Tuesday through Thursday for the month of December will be at our St. Augustine location. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Just one final word before the final blessing. Uh, as I mentioned, we are blessed. I have been truly blessed today to be with Father Scott, Father Chris, Deacon Ed, and all of you. Thank you for your warm hospitality and the goodness of your lives and the goodness of your faith community. Uh, know of my prayers for you and of my love for you. Also, uh, uh, what a vibrant celebration of the Holy Eucharist, of, of truly knowing the Lord in our midst and the Lord in this wonderful assembly, I thank in a special way all the, all the servers who have helped out today, as well as all of our young people who have uh, done wonderful ministry here for us today as well. And, yes, please, good. And also the uh, director and our musicians and choir, uh, what a beautiful way to lift up our hearts and voices to God. Thank you for your help. Good. 
And if you would please stand. I, I did want to say one final word. You know, I'm, I'm going around, and I have an ulterior motive for doing this, especially during the Eucharist revival. I wanted to take the time to be present to our faith communities and thank you, thank you, and commend you for your love and devotion for Jesus and the Holy Eucharist and in receiving the gift of Jesus to be that gift of Jesus living the Eucharist in your life. And it's shown so much in a vibrant living of the sacrament of unity, living a oneness among each other, living Jesus. So just once again, thank you for the gift of your faith, your love for the Lord, your love for the Eucharist, and living the beauty of Jesus in the Eucharist in your own daily lives and as a faith community. So uh, thank you for the, the beautiful faith and witness you give to our Lord. You're welcome. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended, but let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and serve one another. Thanks, Thanks. be to God.